And I know I'm getting this opportunity based on my name, but look, I'm going to use it as a springboard and take full advantage of it. The kid can bang to the body. A lot of people don't. There's older brother Marcus right now, one of my favorite fighters. Great wins over Victor Ortiz, uh, you know, Adrian Broner, and uh, two wars with Floyd Mayweather. I just, uh, you know, come from fighting bloodlines. These kids know how to fight, and I'm looking forward to Fabian to see in the next step of his career because if he's anything like Marcus, we're going to be in for a lot of excitement tonight. And Jorge Maisonet Jr., his dad fought at one time for a world title, was a member of an Olympic team, and he has a lot to live up to, and so far he's doing really well, 13 and one in his career. Yeah, he is, he's got that nice amateur pedigree where he's had a lot of experience facing a lot of different international styles, so the Maidana style shouldn't cause him too much trouble in the beginning, but the pressure, the perseverance, and the power of Maidana can be the intangible things that cause Maisonet a lot of problems. And as we said all night long, you ask every fighter as we did at the meeting yesterday, and they all said, yes, this is my toughest test. That's the way it's supposed to be as you try to step up. As we get ready now to take a look at our Corona tail of the tape. Maidana against Maisonet Jr. Scheduled for eight rounds, these welterweights. And we take a look at the age, very close in age, close in height and reach. All the way around, most people expect this to be a fairly even fight. We shall see as we get ready now for this showdown in the main event. We take a look at the rules. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule, only the ref can stop the fight. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell. The fight is official after four rounds. This one's scheduled for eight. To officially meet him, let's go again to arena announcer, Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Scottish Rite Theater here in San Antonio, Texas, Premier Boxing Champions now features the main event. Live on NBCSN, eight rounds in the welterweight division. The three judges ringside are Ruben Carrion, Glenn Crocker, and Wilfredo Esperon. And the referee in charge when the bell sounds, Rafael Ramos. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner wearing the black and the blue. His professional record 13 wins, 11 of those coming by way of knockout against one loss. Fighting out of Queens, New York by way of Catano, Puerto Rico. Here is Jorge Machito Maisonet Jr. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with the black. As a professional, he is undefeated. Nine wins, half a dozen victories coming by way of knockout. Joining us from Santa Fe, Argentina. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Fabian TNT Maidana. pelea limpia. Okay, buena suerte a los dos. Here we go, it's scheduled for eight, Fabian Maitana. He says he knows his brother has helped him a lot as far as the name recognition to get to this moment where he can be on national TV headlining a card, and he wants to show that he can make the most of this opportunity with Big Brother on hand watching. Meanwhile, Jorge Maisonet Jr. telling us yesterday, here's his game plan. I'm gonna knock him out or he's going to knock me out. We'll see if that holds up. Not always the best game plan coming in a fight with a puncher like Maidana, you know, why bang it out? You know, you know the Maidana name. The kid's going to have some power. He's going to be able to punch a little bit. You see in the corner of him, Roberto Garcia Sr. over there. Uh, he's going to know how to fight. If I'm in the corner of my son, I'm, I'm going to try to frustrate Maidana. Get him frustrated and land some combinations. Maidana has eight first round knockouts of his 11 total in his career. And sometimes when you're a young fighter, you want to knock everybody out. You go in there looking to you know, seek and destroy, but you know, that's not boxing. You gotta go set him up, you gotta touch him, you gotta set him up. If the knockout comes, it comes, but you don't come out in the first round looking for it. At least not the great fighters. Nice counter right hand by Meissen at a second ago. You see the reflexes and the speed from the youngster. Nice combination. You see the left hook up top and then the right hand of the body. A lot of times when you shoot that left hook up top, you're forced to raise your right hand to block it, and that creates an opening for the right hand of the body. 
Bisonette coming out aggressive here as he said he would. Fought in the Pan Am Games at over 100 amateur fights before turning pro just over five and a half years ago. And I'm not sure I like some of the body posture from Maidana so far. Whenever Maisonetti's shooting those combinations. Oh, right. oh, he landed that right, didn't he, Maidana? Right in the middle of making a point that I would like to see Maidana try to do something to take away those combinations from Maisonetti. Don't just let him rip him or shoot a little counter punch, try to time him with something, uh, do anything to uh, you know, not let him rear back and shoot those punches in full blow. Why when I said that, a beautiful straight right hand can to split the guard. That was down Main Street, wasn't it? His best punch so far, my Donna. You know, it's an eight-round fight. Both guys have plenty of time, but Mycinet has done some really nice things so far in the first round. Uh, my Donna, obviously very patient, a little too patient for my liking in the first round because you don't want to rush out to anything, but you do want to work to try to set things up. And uh, my Donna's been content just to sit back and watch. Yeah, it's been Mycinet carrying the load so far here. Big right hand that hurt my daughter. And so far, Mycinet's doing what he said he was going to do. I'm going to knock him out or either he's going to knock me out, but I'm bringing it, and that's what he's doing. You see how he's going up and down with those combinations and a little blood from the left nostril of uh, Maidana. That right hand caught him really flush. You can see the blood coming down now. Mycinet with a strong start to this fight. Mycinet flicking out that jab, continues to be the aggressive fighter. Here's his seconds take down. End of round one. Jorge Mycinet Jr. with that big right off to a big start in Texas. A look from our Applebee's corner cam at the Fabian Maidana corner. And his nose busted there in that first round by Jorge Mycinet Jr. Mycinet coming out with a very strong first round to set the tempo. It's going to be frustrating for Maidana here in the second round because the blood hasn't really stopped at all. You see it coming down his chest almost exactly like it was in the first round. So two things that can do, make it difficult for you to breathe. Also, sometimes when you have a bad nose, it can come down your throat and uh, you can swallow blood. So got to make sure and uh, get that under control in the, in the next round. Mycinet continues to be aggressive here. He said that was his plan to keep the pressure on. And even though Maidana didn't do a lot in the first round, you see the punching power. You see the feet, the hips, the waist, the shoulders, everything coming forward with full momentum every time he punches. And uh, he's really got a lot of leverage on the shots, Kenny. Jake Donovan giving that first round unofficially to Mycinet. And no question about it. He landed way more shots and the harder shots. And Maidana's got to get going here in the second round. Start using that left jab. Start taking some of those hooks into your body. Mix it up and down like Mycinet's doing and start to uh, create confusion in the mind of Mycinet. Mycinet with that combination. There you see the blood now coming out of the nose of Maidana even more. Maidana's got a fast left jab. Oh, and a nice shot there. You see him shoot that left hand and slide right back and land the right hand. He's got he's got reflexes that I didn't think he would have. Explosive when he does it, Kenny, and it's fun to watch. Don't take your eyes off the ring. You might miss something great. Older brother here cheering him on as well. And now Madonna seems to be getting into his groove. Beautiful combination by Madonna. Jab up top, right hook to the body, then left hook up top. All punches, all three punches were in different areas. Head, body, head. Makes it very difficult to defend when they come with that type of speed, like Madonna has. I was, I was very upset and disappointed whenever uh, older brother Marco Maidana retired after the Floyd Mayweather. He's one of my favorite fighters, so this uh, kind of makes me happy to, to see Maidana, younger brother Maidana, coming in and shooting combinations like this because uh, older brother was very fun to watch. San Antonio, a special place in the Maidana family. Talk more about that later. Meanwhile, Fabian coming on strong here. Maisonet's got to get out of the way of that punch. You see, Maidana's moving to his right, looking to set that right hand up. If you're Maisonet, you've got to move away from that shot. Step to your right. Keep your left hand up. Take a big right hand.
this has been for Fabian Maidana. Bisonov trying to fight back. We talked about how the Maidana family feels right at home here in San Antonio. One of the biggest wins, maybe the biggest ever of Marcos' career, was when he knocked down Adrian Broner twice and handed him his first loss in taking away the crown, being the welterweight champion. He had his decision win. December 14, 2013, just a few blocks away at the Alamo Dome. And there is a two-time champ. He gets a thumbs up. Thank you so much for what his younger brother Fabian did in that last round, BJ. Yeah, some beautiful combinations. Maidana starting to wake up a little bit in that second round, Kenny. But you see the flashes and the glimpses of the explosiveness, the power, and the pedigree. Good stuff from uh, Maidana. You see why they call him TNT. Very explosive. And Fabian now coming out. Red Trunks here to start round three. Very impressive second round. He talked about sparring with Marcos at times as they were kids. And for real sparring, the last couple of times he got ready to fight Floyd Mayweather. It's interesting they'd use uh, you know, younger brother Mark or younger brother Fabian to, uh, to emulate Floyd Mayweather. I don't think you know, he really fights in that Floyd Mayweather style, but you see he's got a lot of very nice weapons, very heavy, heavy-handed. That's the thing about Marcos Maidana. You know, when he first broke onto the scene and he beat Victor Ortiz, people were shocked that was a fight Ortiz was supposed to win. But the heavy hands of the Maidana family, uh, you know, keep them in fights. Let's see if Marcos could do, or uh, Fabian could do the same. Meanwhile, my Sinet's people telling him in his corner to move more. Don't be stationary. As you see, Maidana getting that last round unofficially from Jake Donovan, a round apiece here in the first two. And I'm not just going to tell my fighter to move. I'm going to tell my fighter to move to the right, away from the Maidana right hand. I'm not just going to say move and just, you know, take a 50-50. He might move right into that thing, so we don't want that. We have seen flashes of the Maidana power. Nine wins, six by knockout. And he has landed 12 power punches in that last round compared to four. Landed 12, Kenny, but you can see and you can feel it in the air. Any one of those 12 lands correctly and this fight could be over at any second. He's got that type of power, you can see it. He's got to slow things down a little more and set up his punches a little better and uh, he's going to be a knockout puncher. And just incorporate that left jab, start to use it up and down, tap. Try to distract him, isolate that a little bit, set up that big right hand. It's tough for any fighter to get out of the way of the punches. Nice watch again by Maidana. You see how he's moving his feet now. He's giving a, a, a not a stationary target to Mycinet anymore. He's bouncing, he's making things more difficult. Mycinet can't set up when he's bouncing around like that. Mycinet, meanwhile, is the one that's backpedaling here. Because he doesn't have a stationary target sitting in front of him anymore. He can't just zone in on one particular thing that he wants to accomplish. That's Maidana's one of the things you want to see in a young fighter, how quickly they can adapt, and he has done so. Maidana is complicating the game plan of Maisonet here in this third round. He's not fighting a plotter tonight. Maidana making it his fight here. Great second round and looking good in the third. Meanwhile, the bleeding in the nose is under control now. Final seconds, round three. Maidana and Maisonet. More action when we come back to San Antonio. And welcome back to San Antonio, Texas. Kenny Rice, BJ Floyd, you're watching the BBC on NBCSN, and that man in the red trunks, Fabian Maidana, the younger brother of former two-time world champ Marcos, looking very strong the last two rounds against Jorge Maisonet Jr. in the black and blue. His father one time fought for a world title, so great bloodlines here, as we've talked about throughout the card this evening. He's kept here with the main event. Amazing timing on that pull counter by Maidana a second ago. You see Masonette shooting a jab, and not a slow jab, Kenny. Maidana coming over the top of it and landing a beautiful straight right hand and uh, moving Masonette every time he connects with a punch. Glad to have Jake Donovan back with us, our unofficial score. Right now he's given the last two rounds to Maidana, and Jake, it has turned around since that first. It absolutely has turned around for Fabian Maidana. Uh, it's funny, Maisonet's corner told him they want to see him stick and move. That's exactly how he won the first round. Maidana won second and third purely on power. 29-28, Fabian Maidana. Thank you, Jake. Maidana with his older brother looking on. A lot of fans he has here in Texas as well. 
Beautiful jabs to body by Maidana Kenny. I love how he's shooting that jab to the pit of the stomach to set the right hand up to distract Masonette. It also takes a lot of zap out of the legs of him when you stick that jab down there. Maidana has gone the eight round distance his last time. Oh, big shot there by Maidana. His feet are always set so nice. He's always in position to punch. He's got Maisonette hurt here. Maisonette trying to regroup. And Maidana with that stunning left. He's got a heavy, heavy left hand, Kenny. You get the feeling Maidana's a punch or two away now to end this thing, perhaps. Maisonette's not ready to throw the towel in, but uh, it's only going to take one or two clean shots. No, 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 no. Okay? Cuidado. Está bien. You can find the proper way to set it up off that left jab or in a counter punching position. Maidana talked about learning to pace himself. That's why he's gone the distant eight rounds the last two fights. He's only won three by decision. Six of his wins have come by way of knockout. Maisonette's going the wrong way. He's going the right hand right hand. Rescue for disaster. He kind of put put his toolbox away and decided he was going to stop punching and try to just uh, you know figure out where these punches are coming from. Oh my God! has not let his hands go in the last two rounds. Masonet is telling him to relax. I think he's a little too tense now. Tony first off to move a little more a couple of rounds ago. Now that don't get too tense in there. Beautiful counter right hand by Masonet off the Maidana jab, but then a nice counter right up a cup by Maidana. Not very often you see that. If one fighter get countered, then he counters with his own shot. So, uh, nice reflexes and mental toughness by my guys. You see the temperament of Maisonette, though. He's still calm. He took a lot of those punches very well from Maidana in the last round, to my yes. surprise. I think he'd be in a lot of trouble. And, uh, his body didn't really react. His chin held up nicely because he is so relaxed in there, Kenny. If he was very tight, he wouldn't be able to take those shots. Back on the rope side. And then when Madonna comes in with that offense, he's got to do something to discourage it. Counter shots, something to hurt him. Madonna with a good right. Get the point where it's target practice now. My son, that's not giving any good effort. suffered some type of injury to one of his arms because he's really not letting his hands go out. I know that has a lot to do with the power of Maidana and the counter punch ability, but he didn't even try anything. Oh 
up on the left. An element that Maidana definitely needs to work on. Very good prospect. Great punches, great power, great explosion. He needs to work on the body punching to uh, lower the guard of my snap. He's doing about everything else well right now as this round is coming to an end. And again, a good round for Maidana. And back inside from downtown San Antonio. We look in the corner of Fabian Maidana, who's had some great rounds there for BJ. Nice combination by Maidana. He shot the right uppercut, but he followed up with the left hand, the left hook, snapped the head back of uh, his opponent. Let's go. Good punching in the last round by Maidana, Kenny. A lot of good power punching. Jorge Maisonet Jr. coming in here, his own boxing pedigree. His dad fought for a world title. And of course, Maidana, the younger brother of two time world champ. Marcos, who is here cheering him on. There you see their records, both with impressive credentials on their own, trying to make their own names in the ring. Cut the rice pitch out, throw his catcher with us. Madonna continues to keep the pressure on Maisonet. Oh, 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 oh. Let it go, suéltalo. And Maisonet literally hanging on right there. Beautiful straight right hand. On Madonna's second go. He's been starting everything with a jab, down, up, and he came with a straight right time. Maisonet off. Uh, Jake giving that last round as well to Maidana. It was Maisonet way back in the first, starting off strong. That's when he busted the nose of Maidana. You still see some blood coming out of that from time to time. But it has been all the young man, 24 years old, Fabian Maidana. In control of this fight throughout. Maisonet's corner saying what you've been saying, BJ. Throw punches, try to throw more punches. Just stalking Mysonet right now. Yeah, Mysonet's not giving him anything to uh, to keep him off balance. Maidana's able to walk right in and um, unload his most heavy artillery, and Mysonet's not doing anything about it except being defensive. You got to shoot some counter punches. You got to taunt him and feign him. Make him think think twice before he walks in and shoots his heavy shots. I'd like to see Maidana come back with the right hand after that left hook to the body or the head. sides of the body, so he brought both elbows down of Maisonet before he came up the middle. Very smart move, because he definitely want to defend those body shots to the ribs, Kenny. He got to lower the elbows, which creates a big opening up the middle. Maisonet against the ropes, kind of waiting, 
big mistake against a puncher like Maidana. Nice counter left hook by Maisonette, actually. Uh, you know, caught Maidana. Maisonette still uh, doesn't, I don't see anything in particular that would jump out at me and tell me, hey, listen, the fight needs to be stopped. But there's got to be some type of injury. Nice counter left hook by Maisonette there, and I think uh, more raising his right arm. There might be some, some sort of problem with that right shoulder, but I'm curious to talk to the doctor and see what exactly it was, Kenny. There's my snap. Frustrated as you can see. And there it is, the trainer waving it off and saying that's it. No, no more fighting tonight for Maidana. Coming for Maisonette. It was all Maidana controlling the action. He picks up his 10th win without a loss. Fabian Maidana, his older brother looking on, fans cheering him on. He was most impressive in stopping his opponent tonight. Fabian Maidana going to 10 and 0, winning this by TKO Jorge. Maisonette Jr. could not answer the bell for the round. Let's get the official verdict on it and go over to Ray Florence. Ladies and gentlemen, on advice of the corner, our referee in charge, Rafael Ramos, waves off the bat at the end of the sixth round for your winner by technical knockout and still unbeaten, Fabian TNT Maidana.